Hi everyone, welcome back to Workshop and it's repair time again. And yep, it's a battery. It's a lithium ion battery. I use these by the truckload. I've probably got about 50 of these things and I just recently bought uh, 30 more and I use them for testing. And this one arrived faulty. It's completely dead. If I just uh, hook up my multimeter here, let me zoom out. Uh, purchased brand new and it's just completely dead as you see uh, no it's not flat I have actually tried sticking it on the charger to see if what happens and there's just uh, zero current flows it just doesn't do a thing now I don't suspect that there's any problem with the cells as such inside I'd rather think the little battery protection circuit uh, at the top of the battery which is just underneath these the connector on the top. I suspect there's probably a dry joint or something like that on that uh, little circuit board there because I have actually been inside one of these quite a long time ago. So I think I can uh, just pop off the top there. I'll need to destroy part of it to get into it but at the end of the day hopefully I'll get a serviceable 9 volt lithium ion battery out of it at the end of it. The seller that I purchased them from did actually reimburse me one faulty battery and they sent me a packet of two so that was great so this hasn't cost me a thing so I think it's worth going inside and having a look and see how we get on. Now this little plastic cover that's on it it's just basically shrink wrap really you can see there where it's uh, been heated up and just uh, shrunk down onto the plastic casing of the actual battery. I don't think I need to take it right off because the opening for the battery protection circuit is right at this end here so I think I can just cut it with a scalpel around there to expose that end and leave this end intact. So let me do that now and see how we get on. I'm just using a scalpel here just to go around it. Let's see what happens there. And there it is, we've got inside that top part of it and you can see, if I just zoom in a little bit more if I can, you can see that uh, there is actually a little faint line right around there. I think that's where it's been melted shut and hopefully I should be able to break that open. I think that's what I did a long time ago when I was just a little bit curious about a dead battery and I went inside it. And I think that's how I got inside it. I just uh, managed to split that top there to open it up. So let me try that now. I'm just using a flat scalpel blade here really rather sharp so I think it's making a job of going into it. Aha, found the problem. Let me zoom in. You can see, actually, it's the circuit board's actually buried down a deeper, but if you look closely, this top contact here on the negative terminal should be welded down onto that contact there, which is the underside, I think, of the battery management IC and it's clearly broken and that's what's caused the problem. That's a bit better, I've turned the light on so we can see and if I just lift this little green insulator there you can see down inside there that's the uh, underside of the protection board there 
but uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think the problem is just that welded contact. So I'll put my multimeter down in there onto that under that contact there, and on the positive terminal. Let's see if we've got nine volts. Yeah, seven point four volts. That's uh, not a problem. That's obviously just like half charged or something like that. So yep, yeah, that's the problem. So what I've managed to do is just lift up the PCB slightly. There's like an insulation uh, pad underneath it and also the terminals for the batteries come on to the underside of the PCB so I don't want to lift it too far up. Um, it's quite a job to get the actual cells out of this casing um, because they're kind of jammed in so I don't want to pull too hard on the circuit board etc. So I'm going to try and just solder onto that contact. Obviously I can't weld it, I don't have the equipment to do that but hopefully I can uh, just sort of bend that contact down enough to solder onto the underside of the PCB there and hopefully make a good connection. So I'm just going to bend the contact slightly so it appears nice and flat. Yeah, I think that'll do. There, so I'll tin that board and the contact and solder it up. I've got the battery balancing so that I can uh, let you see it in camera as well. So that's it tinned. Press the contact down onto the pad. That's it. There we go. That looks to be well and truly soldered on. So let's check and see if we've got battery voltage. And we do, so I think I can wrap it back up again. So I'll just push the PCB back down again. That's it and close up this. So I think I could put some super glue around that edge there. It's still got a ridge on it so that it sits inside the outer housing. So that should be enough contact patch right the way around more or less to keep it attached. There we go. And press it down into place and wipe off the excess. There we go, just need to hold this for a little while and then uh, let it dry properly inside and out. So there we go, clamped it into my table vise just to allow it to dry properly in place. And we'll let that dry and hopefully we should have a serviceable battery after that. Right, we're nearly finished. It actually struck me that I could actually glue this Bit that I'd cut off back on so yeah so I think I'll go ahead and do that there you go you'd never know thanks for watching